This is RJ's NAM. It's basically a little retainer that his gun pads rest in. There's a little knob on the front that we can put rubber bands around and a nasal stint that is going to help shape his nose that's collapsed. You'll also notice there's some light pink stuff on here. That's a soft reline material that's basically creating pressure in certain spots that we want to move or shape a certain way. And there's also a little hole on the top of the NAM and this is in case it falls down in his mouth and comes loose, he'll still be able to breathe. So now we're going to show you how to put the NAM in. These are the supplies we use for the NAM. We have some fixident, which is a denture glue, some wound closure strips, blister bandages, and some little elastic bands that you usually send braces, along with a Q-tip in case we need it, and some gauze. I start off by cutting off three of the wound closure strips, and then I remove the backing from the top. I fold down one of them to create our mustache tape, and then I grab my little bands and remove two of them. I usually don't try to match the colors. I just grab two out of here. It doesn't really matter to me. Then I'm going to take those little bands and I'm going to stretch them out and pop them around the top of those pieces of tape. Then I'm going to fold those pieces of tape down over the band so that it secures it in place. Then I'll remove the opposite side and fold down the other side of the mustache tape so that it creates a long piece of tape. And with the other two, I'm going to lift up a piece of the bottom part and cut it off. And then wrap that around the top near the band so that it kind of creates a reinforcement so he can't pull the band off the tape when he has it in his mouth. And I'll just go ahead and do that to the other piece of tape as well. Next, I'm going to fold over the ends of each of these pieces of tape. The reason I fold over the ends of all the tape is so that we can easily get it off his face. Um, it's really hard to pick at it if you have it stuck down all the way, so that just gives us something to grab onto. So then I'm going to grab these blister bandages. We basically use these as what we call a base tape to help prevent the other tape from ripping up too much of his skin. We usually leave these on for as long as possible until they fall off just so that we're not being too hard on the skin. So I take these and I cut a little weird looking shape at the top just so that we can fit it next to his nose. I'm just going to take this other piece and do the same thing to it. Alright, now I'm going to take this, peel off the back, and then place it on one side of his face. I want to try to get that tape as close as I can to his lip without going in his mouth, and then just make sure that I smooth it down really well. He doesn't really like us doing this part because his cheeks get really sore from all the taping we do, and so it kind of hurts him when we like push down on the tape to secure it in place. You can tell his cheeks are kind of red from all the taping. But these tapes kind of help it to not be as bad as it would be if we were undoing the tapes every day. So I would put these down and leave them on as long as possible. Next, I'm going to grab the NAM and we're going to put some denture glue on it. So I just make some strips of glue on each side of the NAM where his gum pads are going to go. And I usually do an extra strip on the inside part just to make sure it really holds good. Next, we're going to grab a piece of gauze and dry off his gum pads. If his gum pads are wet at all, the NAM isn't going to stick, so we have to make sure to get them nice and dry. He doesn't really like this part because he doesn't really care to have my hand in his mouth doing this, but it's not hurting him. He just doesn't enjoy it. Then I'll take the NAM and I'm going to stick it underneath the piece of gauze so that he doesn't have the chance to get his gum pads wet again with his tongue. 
And I'm just going to fit it into place on his gun pads and make sure the nasal stent is in his nose. For the next little while, I'm just going to be holding this in place while the glue dries. RJ likes to suck on my finger while I'm holding it and that usually calms him down. A lot of times he'll fall asleep during this part. Now that the NAM is secured in place, I'm going to take my first tape with the band attached and I'm going to just hook it over this knob and pull out so that there's a good amount of tension on it. I want to make sure that I keep holding the NAM so that it doesn't pop out while I'm doing this tension and I want to push down that tape until it's nice and secure. Then I'm going to take my second band and I'm going to hook it around and pull it the opposite way trying to create an equal amount of tension. When we first started doing the NAM, we were putting greater pressure on one side so that we could pull the gum pads where we wanted them and now we're trying to push the gum pads back so we're putting more of a direct pressure by using equal tension on both sides. Now I'm going to take what we call the mustache tape. This one is used to pull his lips together. We're just going to attach that on one side and then thread it underneath the nasal stent. This part gets a little tricky sometimes. Once we have it underneath there, we're going to squish his lips together and secure it on the other side. I'm just going to make sure that the nail hasn't popped out during this process because sometimes it does. And there you have it. That's how you do the dam.